Hello everybody, today we will be going over this color isolation effect here in Final Cut Pro. If you are new to this channel, this is a channel for all Final Cut Pro tips, tricks, and plugins. On the screen here is our website www.b3-studios.com where you can find plenty of plugins to help you in your Final Cut Pro workflow. Some are free. Yes, some are free and some you have to pay for, but um, these will help you out in your Final Cut Pro workflow journey. Now, let's get on into the video for today. Okay, to start off this effect, like I said, um, it's just dependent on your footage. This can be a quick effect or it can be tedious and take a while, but it is easy and simple. Okay, so to start off the effect, we are going to go to our color inspector right here. And we are going to um, click on no corrections right here. And as we click on no corrections, we'll have a couple of options. We are going to click on our color board. After we click on our color board, we're going to add our color mask. Now that we have our color mask, we now have an eyedropper tool. So what we want to do here is on the eyedropper tool, we just want to click our whatever we want to you know, separate its color. So in this instance, I want to keep this uh, sucker blue. So I'm just gonna click on that and hold it and drag up. As you can see here, there's other things being highlighted blue, um, but we'll take care of that. And if your whole subject isn't lit up, you can hold shift and try to make adjustments to add. And if it's too much, you can hold option to um, subtract any color that you don't want. So I think that's pretty good for me right here. So now that we have um, our area selected, um, we want to click this outside button right here. And um, after that, we are going to go to our saturation here and we're going to click on this last circle right here to our left, and we're gonna bring this all the way down. We're gonna bring that all the way down. So that's the global right here. We're gonna bring the global down right here. Now we're going to add our shape mask. So um, we're gonna go up here, add shape mask. And this is where most of the effect takes place, especially if your subject is moving or the object that you have highlighted in color is moving. This is where we um, are gonna add our keyframes and kinda mirror the sucker wherever it goes or whatever the object that you want. Um, we're, just, we're just gonna follow it. So um, I'm just gonna try to make this, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna make this as fitting as possible. And when you have it to where you think it can fit pretty good, we are going to add a keyframe right here. And what this is going to do is this is going to track our shape mass so that it follows all the movements of the sucker. So we're gonna go frame by frame and we're going to just track the sucker. Make sure you track it as accurate as possible to get the best results. So I'm gonna go about two or three frames and just follow the sucker and I'm just gonna fast forward this. You guys take your time and make it as accurate as possible for the best result possible. Okay, so now once you're done with that, you can play it back. It's a really good result right there. I hope you guys learned something today. Um, if you learned anything or if this video helped you out, please consider liking and subscribing. We will have a lot more content just like this coming soon. And this helps the YouTube algorithm. So 
Um, make sure you guys go ahead and check out the website as well. where We have plenty of plugins for you guys for your Hanukkah Pro workflow. It will help you out if you're a beginner or if you are an expert. doesn't matter in Final Cut Pro. We have plugins to help all users out. Um, www.b3-studios.com um, If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. I appreciate all the feedback. And I will see you guys soon. All right, thank you guys. All right, bye.